My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. Okay, so we are going to be making sugar plum berry melt and pour soap. So I looked online at like sugar plum berry, the you know, ballet and all the colors of the outfits, and they're mainly like pink and purple and like white and silver. So that's what we're gonna be using. For soaps, I have a mixture of goat milk and mango butter soap base here. And then I have my clear melt and pour. I have about 12 ounces of each. You probably really only need 10 of each with this mold, but I just made a little extra because I am notorious for having less than I need. So I'd rather have more than less. And my pigments, I have, I used Orchid Mica and Rose Pearl Mica from Brambleberry. I already have them mixed in with some 99% alcohol and the fragrance is going to be Sugar Plum Fairy from Brambleberry. So I also pre-made these embeds. They're like round little embeds and I used a pearl white makeup. So I'm gonna heat up my white soap base first. How cute is this marble soap I made? I think it's super adorable. We're also going to be using some of these um, white sugar pearls from Brimbleberry as well. Okay, so I'm gonna pour half of this into a separate container. Now I'm going to pour in half of my rose pearl pigment. I don't want it to be too pink pink, so I think that is good actually. Then I'm going to add in my Sugar Plum Fairy Fragrance. It's 150 degrees, so that is fine to put the fragrance oil in. It doesn't matter what the temperature of the first layer is, um, so we can actually just pour it in. So now I will spray that with 99% alcohol to get rid of any bubbles. And I will melt up some of my clear melt and pour now. Oh, I'm going to put some of the white sugar pearls in. All right, this is 156 degrees, so I'm going to mix in half of my purple mica. Well, a little less than half. You don't need as much with the clear melt and pour as you do with the white based soap. So I'm going to add in my fragrance oil. Okay, it's 136 now. You are going to want it to be like 130 or less. 
before we pour it in. All right, 132. That's close enough for me. All right, so I'm gonna use a spoon and pour it over that. Kind of help brace the impact of it. Okay, so now I'm going to add that purple pigment. Okay, so I just added the rest of the purple pigment to the white soap base. Twenty six degrees. I kind of want to wait like another minute. No, let's just do it. All right. What are you putting in there? Little sugar pearls. It looks like you're putting drugs in your soap. That doesn't look like drugs. You're trying to get me to rub what kind drugs of, on my body. What kind of drugs did that, does that look like? It's Molly drug in a soap form. <laughs> Probably bath salts. No. Uh, yeah, these are exfoliating bath salts. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are going to rip my face open. <laughs> Surprise! All right, I'll come back. All right, so I just heated up the last of my clear melt and pour, and we add the pink mica to it. Ooh, I might need some more pink, but I don't know. Let's see. I don't want it too pink. Like I don't want it really dark. Okay, so I waited like a minute or so. You want to wait till there's a little bit of a film before you put these on, but you don't want to wait too long because you want them to stick. Well, this is just a trial. Let me see if it'll, yeah. Oh, well, no, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not. All right, I guess I'm gonna wait another minute or so because that was a fail. Thank you. 
they're not I want them to be like in the soap some there so if you like just want to push a couple down to release some of the soap to kind of help get them to stick or else they won't trust me I know so there that I just released some so it'll kind of spread all throughout the top layer and get them to stay so now as a finishing touch I'm going to add some iridescent glitter this glitter makes everything better I'm gonna try this oh will this work oh and it does that's awesome All right, so I'm going to let that sit. Oh, the last one I made took like eight hours to sit, like completely. So overnight, I will, I'm probably gonna leave it, but I will come back and unmold it together with you guys, and we will see what the Sugar Plum Fairy soap that I made looks like. All right. All right, we are going to be unmolding the soap. This is my favorite part, unless it comes out ugly. Oh, but I don't think it's going to. So here's what it looks like before we cut into it. So I'm going to place it like this and cut it right in between the layers of the pearls on top. At least that's the plan. Here is what the end piece looks like when you cut inside. Ooh, I think that is pretty damn cool. Let's cut another. And actually, even the, the bars are a little smaller when I do the pearls on top because I end up getting five bars out of it. And they, but I weighed them, they're approximately like 3.5 ounces each. Compared to like four, four and a half ounces when I only cut four bars from this type of mold okay so something else that I do when I you know use this type of mold is you know when you cut through it it's like it's where the it's just not as like intense as it really is so I will take a little bit of warm water and just like lightly go over it and it just really makes all the colors that are were used pop. If you can see now compared to like and 
then I will let it dry and then I will shrink wrap it. If anyone wants to see that process, let me know. And then I make my labels with my Cricut machine. So that's something else if you're interested in making labels. It doesn't have to be for soap, it can be for anything. Then I can show you guys how I do that as well. But you know, you just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this Sugar Plum Fairy soap tutorial and I will see you next time.